Radio Network. WNN. Are you having trouble sleeping or staying asleep? Feel like you've tried everything and nothing works? Studies show if we are out of balance or too acidic, it can directly affect our sleep. Now, a new doctor-formulated solution is available directly to you. Alkaline Boosters is a fast and natural way to get a restful night's sleep. Take advantage of this promotional offer to buy your Alkaline Boosters today and start sleeping better tomorrow. Call 1-800-994-5361. That's 1-800-994-5361. Are you looking for short-term inpatient rehabilitation or long-term care placement for yourself or a loved one after illness or injury? Whitehall Boca Raton Skilled Nursing and Rehab Facility has served South Florida for over 35 years. With care and oversight from our experienced physicians, Whitehall Boca Raton offers specialized comprehensive nursing and rehab programs in neurological, orthopedic, cardiac, pulmonary, and post-operative surgical care and outpatient therapy provided by our highly experienced nurses and therapists. While recovering, you will receive 24-hour licensed nursing care along with dietary and nutrition services. We accept Medicare and other major insurances. Come see the Whitehall Boca Raton difference. Call 561-392-3000 for more information or to schedule a tour with our admissions team, and we will answer any one of your questions. You can also visit our website at whitehallboca.com. For more information, call 561-392-3000. That's 561-392-3000. Whitehall Boca Raton is committed to provide you with the best medical care. SkyMed Pharmacy is a full-service pharmacy. Our services include home infusion therapy, nursing services, and a mail-order pharmacy delivering specialty drugs directly to your home. Our team of clinical pharmacists, certified technicians, and nurses provide comprehensive patient care, generating treatment of chronic diseases both attainable and affordable. SkyMed has a foundation department and a copay assistant program. Our staff is available daily to answer any questions you may have. Contact SkyMed Pharmacy and Infusion Services at 866-778-8255, 866-778-8255, or visit us at SkyMed.com. That's S-K-Y-E-M-E-D.com. The opinions expressed on the following sponsored program are strictly those of the host, guests, and callers, and not necessarily those of this station, its staff, management, or sponsors. Do you have a hot new business or an established business that offers great and unique services or products that you want to get the word out? Are you looking to grow your business and you want everyone to hear the buzz about it? Do you have an amazing project or an idea that impacts our community that you want to share and get others involved in? Then you've come to the right place. You're listening to Community Connections with Norma G. I'm your host, occupational therapist Norma Guerrero, and I want to share our passions while connecting with our community. So now let's get ready to hear about what's hot, what's new, and what's happening on Community Connections with Norma G. Give us a call at 888-565-1470 and join our conversation. Welcome back to Community Connections with Norma G. I'm your host, Norma Guerrero, and today is Monday, July 24th, and I want to welcome you all back to the show. You are listening to us on 95.3 FM, so if you're getting ready to um, get in your car and and, um, drive home, you're listening at 95.3 FM or on 1470 AM. You can also find us at 1470 AM on your iHeart Radio app, as well as we are live streaming the show today on Facebook at Community Connections with Norma G, as well as on YouTube at Am2 TV Productions and on Periscope at Am2 TV Productions. And we had a great show last week with um, the doctor and the belly dancer and with Mike from 7.2. And um, so if you want to watch it from last week, it was a really, really great show. And I want to thank our sponsors again as well, Whitehall Boca Raton, 7.2, The Alkaline Company, as well as SkyMed Pharmacy for helping bringing this show to you. And Whitehall Boca is a skilled nursing and rehab facility located here in Boca Raton. And they provide um, physical, occupational, nursing, and speech therapy services. And so if you want to have a tour and if you need um, any help with rehabilitation after an injury or illness, they are there for you. And so I want to introduce our guest for today. We're going to be having Dr. Jordan Mosesen. He is a colorectal surgeon, and he's going to be talking about his specialty that he performs um, here locally in South Florida through West Boca Medical Center in his practice, as well as we are going to have on the divinely inspired business consultant, Miss Wendy Bloom of Wendy Bloom um, Consulting. And so I'm super excited to have her on the show as well. It's a long time coming that her and I have been wanting to have her come on the show and learn a little bit about um, our spirit a little bit about our mind and about setting our personal and professional goals and how she can help us um, do that. But first, I want to introduce Mr. Jordan, Dr. Jordan 
Mosesen. And thank you so much for, for being on the show today, Doctor. Thank you, Norma. It's a pleasure to be here. I'm so glad that you're here with us. And so um, you were brought to us here through Kathy Swindle, and she is the uh, Director of Business Development over at West Boca Medical Center, and she has a relationship over there at Whitehall Boca, and she has been bringing these fascinating, interesting doctors um, to us to help um, educate the public and to expand the knowledge of the variety of um, services, specialty services that are available. And last week we ha I had on the show an internal medicine doctor, Dr. Bruce Wishinoff, who has a specialty and interest in psychiatry. And so that was fascinating to delve into that. And so I'm happy today to have you on the show to talk to us about this specialty of colorectal surgery. And can you explain a little bit about what that is and what organs are involved in that? Certainly. So as a colorectal surgeon, uh, I'm first a fully trained general surgeon who then undergoes an additional year of training focusing on diseases of the large intestine, which is also known as the colon, the rectum, and the anal area. And this can encompass a wide range of disease processes from colorectal cancer uh, all the way to hemorrhoids and, and problems uh, in the bathroom. Well, I imagine that's, you know, an interesting subject. And, you know, as an occupational therapist, you know, I am constantly working with people to try and help them become independent with their daily functional activities. And when they're struggling with those things, you know, it can be, you know, have a lot of complications. And so um, what types of diagnoses specifically um, do you treat? So uh, probably the big thing that we treat that everybody uh, should know most about is colon cancer, colon and rectal cancer, but also things like diverticulitis, um, fecal incontinence, hemorrhoids, um, anal fissures, things like that. But uh, I think what I'd want to focus on today is uh, really colorectal cancer because it's uh, a very prevalent cancer in the community. Um, it's the third most commonly diagnosed cancer, and it's the, the second, has the second highest mortality rate for cancers. And it is really um, preventable. And the way that we can prevent can colon cancer is through screening. And uh, the best tool that we have um, is colonoscopy, uh, which is not something that a lot of people like to undergo, uh, but it really is the best tool that we have to prevent people from getting colon cancer and to, if they already do have it, to detect it earlier so that it can be treated more easily. Mm. So you say it's the third most prevalent cancer. Mm -hmm. Which are the first two? I imagine breast? So that would be breast in women, prostate in men, and then lung. And then lung. For both men and women. Okay. And then thirdly being this colon cancer. Colon cancer. All right. And so, wow. I mean, yep. that's quite... And you said it was the second, uh, I believe... Second leading cause of cancer, death. Second leading, and the first being? Lung. First being lung cancer. Right. Oh, okay. So it's the second leading, and so what's causing it? Well, we don't know 100%. There's a large genetic component to colon cancer, and certainly we know that if you have a um, first-degree relative, a mother, father, sister, brother, son, or daughter who has colon cancer, you are at a much higher risk um, for getting it yourself. There are some what we call lifestyle modifications, certain risk factors that people have in their everyday lives that can um, lead you to get colon cancer. Uh, one of those is a low fiber, high fat diet, sort of the, the typical Western diet with a lot of fast food and, and people not getting enough fiber in their diet. That's been shown to uh, have a higher risk for colon cancer. Also smoking and uh, excess alcohol uh, intake has been shown as a link to colon cancer, but a lot of it is really genetics. Uh, and the interesting thing about colon cancer, or maybe the dangerous thing about it, is that it doesn't produce a whole lot of symptoms. You won't know that you have a problem until it's gone quite far. Mm -hmm. Once you start to have things like rectal bleeding or uh, abdominal pain, that usually indicates that the cancer has uh, gone to a more advanced stage. And so that's why screening, which is a test that's done on somebody who's asymptomatic, is so important because you're not going to have symptoms. You may be walking around with a colon cancer and, and really not even know it. Which, so that's why it's very important to get screened uh, at an appropriate time 
um, and to stay on top of it. So clearly if somebody's having symptoms, they know they're going to go running to their doctor. Absolutely. So if so, nobody's having symptoms, is there a, like an age that people are, should start beginning to um, having these screenings? And what is the screening? So starting at age 50, for somebody that has no symptoms or has no um, advanced risk factors like a family member uh, with colon cancer, you should start getting screened at age 50. And the recommendation is to have a colonoscopy starting at age 50. And then depending on what is found at that first or index screening exam will determine what the uh, frequency is going to be going forward. Mm -hmm. So, for example, if you were found to have some polyps, which are precancerous growths, the majority of colon cancers start out as these small polyps. And if you're found to have polyps at your first colonoscopy, you may be coming back sooner, say, every three years for your next one. Whereas if you had a clean um, scope without any findings, you might be coming back in five years. Mm. So Fascinating. And so with the age starting at 50 years old, mm -hmm. are people under the age of 50 being diagnosed with colon cancer, whether it be children, young adults, or people like my age in, in their 40s? Right. So certainly the, the interesting data actually that I brought with me today shows that um, the incidence of colon cancer under the age of 50 is actually going up. Um, we're not entirely sure why that is, but we are finding cancers in younger and younger people. Colon. And colon and rectal cancer, yes. Um, and uh, part of why we think that is is that people are not going to their doctor when they have, pro when they have a problem. Uh, there seems to be a lack of education in younger people in terms of what the symptoms are and, and things that you might want to discuss with your doctor. Do you think it's education or maybe coverage? <sighs> now, that's a tough question. <laughs> I, I think it's probably a little bit of both, certainly. But I think uh, younger people are more likely to sort of poo-poo, if you will, uh, a problem that could turn out to be something uh, a lot more major. And possibly the reason is that they don't necessarily have the, uh, the coverage They'll just say, oh, you know what, it's probably nothing. I better not worry about it. I don't have the right insurance or my deductible is too high or something mm -hmm. like that. But, uh, yes, colon cancer is on the rise in people under 50. And people over 50, the, um, the mortality rate is actually going down because we've been better at finding things, at screening people and finding them earlier. Um, when you find a colon cancer, the earlier you find it, the better because a lot of times it can just be treated with surgery, whereas if it's progressed beyond, say, a certain stage, you may be looking at uh, additional treatment like chemotherapy or radiation or even wow. additional surgery. Wow. So early detection is really the key. So, Dr. Mos Mosison. Mosison. Mosison, I got it right. So, how did you get into this particular area in a specialty in medicine? Where did you go to school and, and how did this become of interest to you? So uh, I'm originally from New York, like a lot of other people here in South Florida, mm -hmm. but um, I went to New York College of Osteopathic Medicine. Which part, medicine, which part of New York? Long Island. Okay. Yeah, there, All right. And um, I did my general surgery training at Nassau County Medical Center in East Meadow. And um, while I was doing my training, um, I started to think about what I wanted to do, uh, you know, when I grew up, so to speak. And uh, originally, I, I toyed with the idea of plastic surgery, but um, it didn't really have the fulfillment that I was looking for. And so, interestingly enough, my father is a colorectal surgeon, and um, he never pushed me to do surgery. He actually kind of tried to discourage me from going into medicine, mm -hmm. but that's a, that's a whole other story. Okay. <laughs> but once he saw that I was really serious about it, you know, he really got behind me. But I remember calling him up one day and I said, Dad, you're not going to believe this, but I think I want to do colorectal. Uh, it just turned out and that... And you're in medical school at the time. I, I was in my residency, actually. Okay. Uh -huh. yeah, I was in my fourth year residency. And um, it just, I started to think about what do I enjoy doing uh, and how do I think that I can best help people. And so, as I kind of mentioned uh, in the beginning, colorectal surgery really encompasses a wide variety of disease processes and um, treatments. So I could be doing a major colon resection for somebody with colon cancer one day, and then I could be going into my office that afternoon and helping somebody with, you know, a hemorrhoid problem or difficulty going to the bathroom. And, you know, believe it or not, they're equally as gratifying to me because if you help somebody with a problem that they're having that they can't really talk about that they're embarrassed by that's really limiting their lifestyle they are just as 
um, happy as if you cured them from colon cancer. So mm -hmm. it's really a, a wonderful field. And I think that um, there are some technological advances that are happening now in minimally invasive surgery and robotic surgery. It's really making it a very interesting field to be in. And I think I'm very lucky to be yeah. here. Yeah. Well, you definitely um, pose the... Um the uh, the characteristic that many health professionals feel regardless of what uh, however they're interacting with people is that th helping people get better is a very rewarding feeling Absolutely. you know and so I'm gonna take a little commercial right now and I understand what you mean because I, I feel the same way too when I'm working with my patients I'm gonna take a little commercial right back we're gonna come back with Dr. Mosesen Mosesen I was saying it wrong before <laughs> so that's why I'm double check and uh, we're just going to continue this conversation because I have a few more um, questions to ask him. And so tell me, um, how can we find you and where are you located here in so South Florida? My office is uh, on the corner of Glades and Lyons Road in the Somerset Shopping Center. I think most people know it is where TJ Maxx is. So if I just say that, most people know <laughs> where to find me. Uh, and the phone number to my office is 561-395-2626. Uh, Wonderful. We'll be right back with Community Connections. Do you suffer from back, joint, or muscle soreness? Recovery with HydroFX is the doctor-recommended all-natural solution you've been looking for. Now, available in the U.S., Recovery with HydroFX is a specialized product for headaches, back, joint, and muscle soreness. Get back to feeling great today and order your 30-day supply of Recovery with HydroFX. Call 1-800-994-5361 and take advantage of this limited radio offer. That's 1-800-994-5361. SkyMed Pharmacy is a full-service pharmacy. Our services include home infusion therapy, nursing services, and a mail-order pharmacy delivering specialty drugs directly to your home. Our team of clinical pharmacists, certified technicians, and nurses provide comprehensive patient care, generating treatment of chronic diseases both attainable and affordable. SkyMed has a foundation department and a copay assistant program. Our staff is available daily to answer any questions you may have. Contact SkyMed Pharmacy and Infusion Services at 866-778-8255, 866-778-8255, or visit us at SkyMed.com. That's S-K-Y-E-M-E-D.com. Are you looking for short-term inpatient rehabilitation or long-term care placement for yourself or a loved one after illness or injury? Whitehall Boca Raton Skilled Nursing and Rehab Facility has served South Florida for over 35 years. With care and oversight from our experienced physicians, Whitehall Boca Raton offers specialized comprehensive nursing and rehab programs in neurological, orthopedic, cardiac, pulmonary, and post-operative surgical care and outpatient therapy provided by our highly experienced nurses and therapists. While recovering, you will receive 24-hour licensed nursing care along with dietary and nutrition services. We accept Medicare and other major insurances. Come see the Whitehall Boca Raton difference. Call 561-392-3000 for more information or to schedule a tour with our admissions team, and we will answer any one of your questions. You can also visit our website at whitehallboca.com. For more information, call 561-392-3000. That's 561-392-3000. Whitehall Boca Raton is committed to provide you with the best medical care. Are you having trouble sleeping or staying asleep? Feel like you've tried everything and nothing works? Studies show if we are out of balance or too acidic, it can directly affect our sleep. Now, a new doctor-formulated solution is available directly to you. Alkaline Boosters is a fast and natural way to get a restful night's sleep. Take advantage of this promotional offer to buy your Alkaline Boosters today and start sleeping better tomorrow. Call 1-800-994-5361. That's 1-800-994-5361. Thank you for listening to Community Connections with Norma G. We're the place where we talk about your business, a product, an idea, or a project to get the word out to our community. I'm your host, occupational therapist Norma Guerrero. Today we are sharing our passions while connecting with our community. Give us a call at 888-565-1470 and join our conversation. Don't forget to tune in every Monday night at 5 to 6 p.m. To join me, Norma G., and our guests to find out about what's hot, what's new, and what's happening in our community. Can't wait to see you there. Now let's rejoin the show. Yes. Welcome back to Community Connections, and we are talking with Dr. Mosesen, and he is a colorectal surgeon, and we are talking about the what we learned just now is that colorectal col colon cancer is one of the third most prevalent cancers and that, you know, as we know, any cancer you can die from. But Dr. Mosesen is here to tell us today that it's preventable. Absolutely. And you're saying it's preventable through this procedure called a colonoscopy um, by screenings. And so 
I know that a lot of people don't like to go to their doctor. They don't like to, to, to find out bad news or anything like that. But, but prevention is a key to anything, whether it be breast cancer and women getting their mammograms or whether it be prostate cancer and men going and getting their, their was it urologists that, that perform a Urologists those, those, or, or even a primary care the, physician prim can do right. a prostate um, check. Yeah, and even yeah. your cardiologist, those types of things. You know, prevention is key to anything. And so... What's involved in the preparation up to a colonoscopy? I know people don't like to hear about it. I know yeah. you just said that, and, and <laughs> I didn't want to bring that you right into that. But I think it's important to people to know that why is it so so important, this screening, to cleanse the system? So colonoscopy is the what we would call the gold standard for colon cancer screening. And the reason is that it detects and treats at the same time. So... It is, the downside to it is it is an invasive procedure. It's not like going for uh, an x-ray or a mammogram, which, you know, is still uncomfortable, but it doesn't, it doesn't really, it's not really an invasive procedure. Colonoscopy has to be done with um, anesthesia, and it requires a preparation, the prep, that everybody is sort of uh, put off by. And what it is, basically, it's a solution, a medicated solution that you drink in order to clean out the colon. The colon is typically filled with stool, and in order to get a good examination, we need to really clean it out completely. And the reason for that is the polyps that we're looking for, those precancerous growths that we talked about, can be millimeters in size. Now, the, the, the colonoscope um, magnifies these somewhat, but the key to getting a good um, screening is, first of all, to have somebody who knows what they're doing and to have a good prep. So typically what happens is the day before you're scheduled, you'd be on a clear liquid diet the whole day, meaning um, things like broth, juice, basically any liquid that you can see through. And then in the afternoon sometime you drink this prep and you spend most of the evening and the night in the bathroom. Detoxifying. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Getting it all cleaned out. Yeah. And so, you know, I had a, that's my question. You called the colonoscopy the gold standard screening test, but you're calling it it's diagnostic and therapeutic. Right. What do you mean by therapeutic? So if during the colonoscopy we find a polyp, we can remove it through various tools and instruments that we have that can actually go through the scope. We can remove that polyp and it's gone, and now that will not turn into a cancer. Um, so there are other screening tests that you can do, like a barium enema. Um, there is something called a fecal occult blood test that your primary care physician might do where he takes a stool sample and checks it for blood. Uh, there's even something called a virtual colonoscopy where it's a, a very detailed uh, x-ray of the colon. Mm -hmm. And those are screening tests in that they can show you if there is a problem, but if it comes back positive, you still need to have a colonoscopy to do something about what it found. So to me... Go straight you know, to... It, exactly. Go straight to, yeah. this, to the gold standard. So when you find this polyp and you remove it, mm -hmm. do you biopsy it? So right. So it is. you can either biopsy it by taking a piece off of it if it's too large to remove through the scope. and But in most cases, you can actually do what's called an excisional biopsy by removing the entire polyp. And yes, it does go to pathology because they need to look at it under the microscope to tell us what it is, if there are any malignant cells in there, and whether or not any additional treatment is needed. But yes, so anytime you remove something, it does get looked at um, uh, by a pathologist. And if something was too large for you to remove, is, is, is does that mean you need to now go into a further type of surgery? So if there were a polyp or a mass that could not be removed through the scope, then yes, you would most likely require surgery to remove it. And, and generally speaking, what we would do is remove that portion of the colon, treating it as if it were a cancer. We wouldn't want to just remove the polyp and then, God forbid, find out that there was some cancer in there. Then you'd have to go back for another surgery. So uh, if you need surgery for a large polyp, we're going to treat it as if it's cancer to be on the cautious side. You know, understood. Rather, rather, understood. Right. So, you know, people generally, ha you know, not everybody has cancer, but we all may have some discomforts in, you know, with our abdomen, with our digestive system, mm -hmm. such as IBS, which is irritable bowel syndrome. Can you explain a little bit of what that is compared to hemorrhoids? You know, and I guess, you know, when you're saying you treat things that are in the office that are equally as satisfying when you can help people, what, how do you help people that have these conditions? Okay, so there's a lot there. I know, um, I know. So irritable bowel syndrome uh, is a functional 
problem of the colon. And there's actually three types. There's IBS-C, which is constipation predominant, uh, IBS-D, which is diarrhea predominant, and then there's a mixed component. And the hallmark of irritable bowel syndrome is abdominal pain that's relieved by going to the bathroom. Um, and typically, we really don't find anything that is structurally wrong with the colon. There isn't like there's a, a blockage or a mechanical problem with it. Um, we don't know a lot about irritable bowel syndrome, and we think that a lot of it has to do with possibly diet modification as well as um, the bacteria that live in, in somebody's intestine. And there's good bacteria and bad bacteria, and, and some theories suggest that IBS has to do with an imbalance of those um, bacteria. Um, now, you asked about hemorrhoids. Hemorrhoids are, everybody has hemorrhoids. I tell people this and they kind of get shocked when I say that, but okay. hemorrhoids are part of our normal anatomy. You learn something new every day. <laughs> Whether you wanted to know it or not, uh, everybody has hemorrhoids. It's part of what keeps us continent. The problem with hemorrhoids, uh, once you start to have constipation or, or anything that puts excess pressure on the pelvis, uh, even childbirth or, or, or being pregnant, um, the blood vessels that are within the hemorrhoids can get dilated and the connective tissue that's in there gets stretched out. And when that happens, the hemorrhoid prolapses or uh, sticks out where it's not supposed to be. And there it's susceptible to trauma from wiping or from a hard stool that passes through. And um, so you can have bleeding once that Mm -hmm. tissue gets eroded and, and the uh, blood vessels underneath are exposed. And some people have surgery to remove hemorrhoids. Right. When there, there's external many treatments. Or? Well, so there's external and internal hemorrhoids, and, and depending on the grade of the hemorrhoid will depend on what the treatment is. I usually like to start with the least invasive um, procedures and sort of work our way up the ladder to surgery. Surgery for hemorrhoids can be very painful, so it's something that I only... Um, I reserve for the worst cases and for people who have tried other therapies and failed. I could do a whole talk just on hemorrhoids mm -hmm. with all the therapies that are out there. Sure. But the, the main thing that I usually recommend to pretty much everybody that comes into my office is fiber. And I think if any... If, well, yes, uh, yeah. that was going to be my next question is what nutritional so, you know, advice, tips can you fiber, give to us? Fiber, fiber, fiber. Especially in the United States, we simply just don't get enough fiber in our and diet. And what do you, can you be more specific as to what types of foods um, have so fiber? Whole grains, um, non-processed things, you know, stay away from white flour, white bread, things like that. You want to be eating whole grains, um, whole grain cereals. And I find that really the easiest way to do it for most people is to take a supplement. There's tons of them out there. Uh, any of them are, are good. I like to recommend a brand called Consil. It's a... Uh, uh, a psyllium fiber. It's gluten-free. You mix it up with something to drink. You drink it once a day and you make it part of your routine and it really helps with a lot of these problems that I see yeah. in my office and, and that's usually everybody in my office leaves with a, a sample of that. And I mentioned to you on the phone that when I was um, younger I um, was having some trouble as well and I ended up meeting with a, a gastroenterologist and he was he said the same thing fiber but it ended up being an actual lactate mm -hmm. issue for me and so I reduced the amount of dairy intake that I have and I find that my system just you know just works a lot more smoothly and not so complicated um, and so I underwent a colonoscopy um, I did go through that 24 hour uh, and it is a little bit uncomfortable and what's interesting though is that you're saying you started 50 years old now will you do this with people in their 70 75 80 85 I mean are people absolutely do, yeah. do you recommend this their, through your entire lifetime and so this is a question senior aging absolutely this is a question that I get all the time particularly here in South Florida because we have a, a slightly older population than you might see elsewhere everybody wants to know when can I stop doing a colonoscopy my you know so-and-so told me that once you hit age 75 or age 80, you don't need to have a colonoscopy anymore. That's simply not true. Um, if you, it is an individual decision that you have to make with your, uh, your primary care physician, your gastroenterologist, and or your colorectal surgeon, whoever's doing your colonoscopy. There is no hard stop date 
mm. on when you do colonoscopy. And as you get older, when you go through this process of, of, of that cleansing, it you know it's physically challenging to get up and move that fast to get to the bathroom. <laughs> you know, so that's why they're like, when right. can I stop doing Absolutely, this? Absolutely, but you know, and so I'm not talking about know, doing colonoscopies on people who are bed bound, who really don't have any right. quality of life. But there are 90 year olds walking around out here Playing who tennis. look better. Yeah, yes. who look better than or better shape than I am. Yes, and there's no reason that they I should. Know about that but <laughs> <laughs> close enough but there's no reason that they should have to get colon cancer there's no reason that anybody should have to die from colon cancer that's that's the bottom line dr mosesson i want to thank you so much for coming here today and sh did i say right mosesson it's okay we're Mo like, we're like, we're now, now you got me <laughs> Mosesson. 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 Well, what can I say? My uh, my dialogue here on this is a <laughs> Thank you, Norma. <laughs> Thank I really Thank you so much for coming it. here. No, in all seriousness, you gave us a wealth of information. You gave us some great tips. And I really, really want to thank you for, for what you do for serving our community and also for serving the, the, the population here at large. And, and you know, in this, this topic of conversation, it's not always so comfortable, but I think we did a, a nice job here at um, sharing this information. And so I wish you well in your practice. You. And we want to thank West Boca Medical Center for, for having you um, be here with us today. And once again, can you tell us how we can find you? Absolutely. Uh, my office is here in uh, South Florida, Glades and Lions Road in the Somerset shops. My phone number is 561-395-2626. Excellent. Excellent. We'll be right back with Wendy Bloom. Thanks for tuning in to Community Connections. Thank you so much. Are you having trouble sleeping or staying asleep? Feel like you've tried everything and nothing works? Studies show if we are out of balance or too acidic, it can directly affect our sleep. Now, a new doctor-formulated solution is available directly to you. Alkaline Boosters is a fast and natural way to get a restful night's sleep. Take advantage of this promotional offer to buy your Alkaline Boosters today and start sleeping better tomorrow. Call 1-800-994-5361. That's 1-800-994-5361. Are you looking for short-term inpatient rehabilitation or long-term care placement for yourself or a loved one after illness or injury? Whitehall Boca Raton Skilled Nursing and Rehab Facility has served South Florida for over 35 years. With care and oversight from our experienced physicians, Whitehall Boca Raton offers specialized comprehensive nursing and rehab programs in neurological, orthopedic, cardiac, pulmonary, and post-operative surgical care and outpatient therapy provided by our highly experienced nurses and therapists. While recovering, you will receive 24-hour licensed nursing care along with dietary and nutrition services. We accept Medicare and other major insurances. Come see the Whitehall Boca Raton difference. Call 561-392-3000 for more information or to schedule a tour with our admissions team, and we will answer any one of your questions. You can also visit our website at whitehallboca.com. For more information, call 561-392-3000. That's 561-392-3000. Whitehall Boca Raton is committed to provide you with the best medical care. SkyMed Pharmacy is a full-service pharmacy. Our services include home infusion therapy, nursing services, and a mail-order pharmacy delivering specialty drugs directly to your home. Our team of clinical pharmacists, certified technicians, and nurses provide comprehensive patient care, generating treatment of chronic diseases both attainable and affordable. SkyMed has a foundation department and a copay assistant program. Our staff is available daily to answer any questions you may have. Contact SkyMed Pharmacy and Infusion Services at 866-778-8255. 866-778-8255 or visit us at skymed.com. That's S-K-Y-E-M-E-D.com. Do you suffer from back, joint, or muscle soreness? Recovery with HydroFX is the doctor-recommended all-natural solution you've been looking for. Now, available in the U.S., Recovery with HydroFX is a specialized product for headaches, back, joint, and muscle soreness. Get back to feeling great today and order your 30-day supply of Recovery with HydroFX. Call 1-800-994-5361 and take advantage of this limited radio offer. That's 1-800-994-5361. Thank you for listening to Community Connections with Norma G. We're the place where we talk about your business, a product, an idea, or a project to get the word out to our community. I'm your host, occupational therapist Norma Guerrero. Today we are sharing our passions while connecting with our community. Give us a call at 888-565-1470 and join our conversation. Don't forget to tune in every Monday night at 5 to 6 p.m. to join me, Norma G., and our guests to find out about what's hot, what's new, and what's happening in our community. Can't wait to see you there. Now let's rejoin the show. 
Welcome back to Community Connections. I'm your host, Norma Guerrero, and you are listening to us live on 95.3 FM as well as 1470 AM on your radio dial here in South Florida. You can also watch us now, or you can catch the show a little bit later if you can't tune in right now, on Community Connections with Norma G live on Facebook. We're being streamed. Um, you can also watch us on YouTube at Amp2 TV Productions and on Periscope at Amp2 TV Productions. And if you're nowhere near any of that, you can also watch us, listen to us on iHeartRadio app at 1470 AM WNN. And so I am happy to introduce my next guest. She's Miss Wendy Bloom. Hi, Wendy. How are you? Hi, Norma. How are you here? Oh, I'm so glad that you're here. Now, many of my guests, sometimes I know them from out in the community, and sometimes I don't know them at all, but I've had some time with them on the phone and gotten to know them. But I am happy to say that Wendy and I, we know each other, and we've had a lot of time. We've known each other for uh, quite a few years now. Is that right, Wendy? Yeah, it goes by fast. It's a bit, Yeah, probably like two or three years. And so this is really exciting for me to have you on the show because I find you to be such an inspirational uh, woman um, to many people and as well as to me as well and so I want to introduce Wendy who she is and what she does and she is the um, she has a background in farm in the pharmaceutical industry for over 20 years and at some point in her life over the last um, handful of years she just decided to completely change every aspect of her life and she be decided to rewrite your story re rewrite your story and she now is an international speaker and author a workshop leader, a successful coach, and life shift retreat guru. She's a divinely inspired business consultant who is passionate about helping women share their passion and purpose in an authentic, unique, and deliberate way to achieve personal and professional success. And that's the circumstance under which I met you. I met you um, at this class that you call um, the Class of Miracles. Yes. And it's a class where you gather in a room. It's a very serene room, a very peaceful room. And you have the opportunity to sit down and share with one another. And each week you have a different subject. And I felt that from going to those classes that I'm spoken to um, in many different aspects of my life. And I think it's just fascinating how you come from this big time sales rep kind of position, pharmaceutical sales. But you just flipped your mattress upside down and you just changed your entire life. And that's kind of what I want to talk about today is how did that happen a little bit? And also, what, what inspires you on a daily basis? Well, okay, so I'll start with that it was by happenstance. So it certainly wasn't planned. And I went on a path of personal growth. I discovered the class you're talking about. Um, I discovered this book because I used to follow... Marian Williamson, mm -hmm. so she's a spiritual teacher, and she's involved in politics, and she's an all-around like mover, shaker, and action taker. I was, I was, um, I was really drawn to her work, and she talked about a metaphysical book called A Course in Miracles, and I ended up buying the book, and I kept it on my nightstand for a couple years, and never really, I went to. I went to read it, and I said, "You know what? I, I don't. I think this is too heavy for me." And but yet, I was deeply on my spiritual path, and I was studying um, personal growth, and just I wanted to learn from a lot of different teachers. And this was while I was working in the pharmaceutical industry. And then what happened? Like you start to get new ideas. Like you don't know what you don't know. And I started to just have many, many revelations. And one of them was that you could actually, and this was, this was really where it all started, that your, your thoughts could actually change the results and the outcome in your life. And I thought that was so interesting when I heard that, your thoughts, so your perspective, the way you think could actually shift the outcomes and your outer circumstance. And I thought, huh. Um, it intrigued me. I was very curious about it. Um, so I started to soak it up like a sponge. And I read everything that I could get my hands on. And because I came from the pharmaceutical industry, I was most interested on the sci on, in the science aspect also. So I liked the link between science and spirituality and what was going on with our brain. You mean like psychology and psychiatry? And the conscious mind, the subconscious mind, how all that worked together. And I stumbled on this field 
of neuroplasticity. That uh, when we think new thoughts, we're starting to create new neurons and neuropathways. And I was most fascinated, um, you know, working the pharmaceutical and talking about medical and how many people are depressed and take medication for that. And I was most intrigued that you could holistically many times make a shift in the way that you think and then start to feel better. And that happiness was a choice. That was a brand new concept for me. Happiness is a choice. I mean, I thought, you know, hard work wasn't even a choice. It was just an expectation. It's what you do. Um, So I was experimenting and I was testing. I was testing out, you know, this new knowledge and these philosophies. And I became quite fascinated. That That's really, really, it's, it's such an important point is the power of our thoughts. And I think that a lot of people don't, until they've ever heard this or they've ever been challenged by this, struggle with this because we live in the moment of aggravation. We live in the moment of things happening to us or around us or to close people around us and we can't control these things. And so, um, or we're not happy with the outcome of certain things that happens and so therefore the only thing we can control is our thoughts you know to some degree yeah to some to some degree you know it's a it's a strong powerful thing is you know can i worry or can i just have faith or don't even worry because you don't even know if that's going to happen yet you know and so was it something that before you started to have that you you read that quote or you read something to saying that uh, what was it again the th- about the thoughts the the thoughts that if you change your thoughts you can start changing. change your perspective yeah you change your perspective you, which shifts your attitude yes. and then you start to have better experiences so prior to that would you say that you didn't apply that particular principle in your life Well, you know, I looked at life in different buckets. You know, as a mom, you're taking care of your kids and working in your career. So you're focused on building your career and your business. And so you're wearing different hats. So you you normally sometimes change who you are. And so... And setting goals, the goals would be in pharma. It's in almost pharma. like w- what's your identity in that particular moment in your life, in that, se- your, in that in season your goals, in your life. Your goals were sales. So so for me, goals were, were, were sales related. And at home, it's, it's you know, getting your kids in, in good schools sure. and maybe having them eat, you know, a nutritious meal. Those are, those are your goals. You know, I never really thought about the idea of just having a goal to be happy or to have a goal to be at peace and not sweating the, the small stuff. Mm, mm. So sometimes we don't necessarily focus on, our, focus on our inner personal selves because we're so busy dealing with taking care of everyone else and or just, you know, help, you know, managing our job, which, you know, is our income and those types of things. So we don't set aside that time for ourselves, our inner personal selves. We put our, we barely put ourselves on our list. Right. We're taking care of everybody else. We have all these responsibilities. And so many people are in overwhelm because we're doing so much. We have so much technology now, but we've added more to our plate. So it's important to disconnect and get to know yourself mm. and get really clear about where your priorities are. Mm. So... You know, how long has this kind of process been going on for you now? Is this is like a five year thing? Six? I think it's been a while. It's it's been, it's, it's been about ten or twelve years now. And so, what I um, find interesting is that not only do you kind of work with people for on personal levels that maybe want to have some growth in their life, you also do some business consulting as well. Is that, is that correct? Yeah, and that's happenstance too because I worked in sales and marketing. So when I first launched my coaching practice, I had other coaches coming to me and ask me, how do you build a business? How do you market a business? So that's how I started getting involved in business consulting and helping others. And what happened, I actually stayed in, in the pharmaceutical industry because when mm. I resigned, they asked me to stay. And they worked out something where I could stay part time. So I was still working in pharma, and then I was launching my own business. But it was very, very interesting. 
uh, doctors were coming to me with other aspects, hobbies. You know, they'd love art, maybe on the side. You know, they had another interest. And turning that hobby these days, it's multiple sources of income. The sky's the limit. You know, we can do different things. Mm. And so that was really exciting to me. Yeah. You know, when I think of sports, you know, whenever I um, follow a particular athlete or something like that, many of them will often tell you, well, when I hired this particular coach um, or when I got with this particular coach, my game improved. And so perhaps in our personal lives and or our business lives, you know, some people will be like, I don't need a coach. I don't need a coach. You don't always have to be in, a, in a, an emotionally down point in your life like oh I just got divorced or oh I just broke up with my boyfriend or I just lost my job or you can also be in a successful period of your life and still um, uh, benefit from coaching is that correct? Oh I, I believe that uh, completely I hired a coach right out of the gate I really believe in coaching and coaches have coaches and CEOs have coaches and athletes have coaches uh, you can't see the 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 picture if you're in the picture frame. So it's about a partnership. It's about someone who can see things from different angles. And so it becomes, it actually makes it fun too. Somebody mm -hmm. that really supports you and is cheering you on, um, on life's path. You know, it's really interesting. I've been uh, conducting an experiment right now, which I have been. One of the very first things I did yeah, I saw was... This. I created this happiness survey and I put it on a clipboard and I went to the beach and I would interview people and I would ask them. Now, of course, people at the beach, you know, they're going to have a higher happiness ratio than if you ask them somewhere else, you know, and certainly, um, but I learned so much, you know, asking questions, you learn so much, asking questions, you know, inside and asking other people, you learn from other people. So I'm um, conducting this experiment right now where I actually, like, you know, I walk the talk, I walk the walk and talk the talk, and I'm just totally immersing myself in um, with successful people and politicians. You know, I'm, this week it's Benjamin Franklin. I've been reading about George Washington and, you know, then others like Tony Robbins or, you know, and just wanting to just... Totally to just draw their wisdom. All of their way and, and actually practice the way they practice for three days. Whether it's Richard Branson who gets up first thing in the morning and plays tennis, or it's Benjamin Franklin who first thing in the morning he asks just one question. So it's not complicated. It's really simple. So he asks this one question. What good in the world can I do today? What good can I do today? And then at the end of the day, then he checks back in and he asks the question, what good did I do yes. today? Yeah. It's, it's a practice. It's, it's a, a practice. practice. And so not only are you a teacher, but you're a student. Oh, full time. You're a student for yourself. And so in in the midst of this, um, this you developing your this, this, this business of yours of coaching, of people being able to hire you as a coach, you also have created um, a system, a this this Flourish Mastermind. Could you tell us a little bit about that? Well, sure, because I'm a systems person. Mm -hmm. Otherwise, I'm going to be scattered all over the place. So in coaching, you know, we'd have various different conversations. So if you talk about like a life wheel where you divide life into different categories, whether it's relationships or health and wellness or your home or adventure and business and finances. So all these conversations and all these courses, you know, that I started to teach, I wanted to put them in a system that it was really paint by the numbers that you can fill in the templates and get to know yourself and get clear about your dreams because we stopped talking about them most often in adulthood and start going back to the true essence of who we are and what we want to create and know that it's never, ever too late. So I had to put it in a system. And of course, if you have a system in your home to your own vices, maybe you're not going to do it. Maybe you're not going to fill out the worksheets. So I created it 
as part of a program that's a mastermind program where you could go participate in a mastermind, different parts of South Florida and now up in the Northeast and different different locations. And you can... Different groups? Different groups, masterminds. Because so you've been training up leaders. Doing certifications and training other leaders so that they can facilitate these groups. And I'm really, yeah, I'm really excited by um, seeing how this has unfolded because I was blown away to learn only 3%. And hey, I was the 97% that did not write down my goals. Now I wrote down business goals. Those were sales oriented because I worked for a company and they, you know, that's what they taught. You write down the goals, but to write down goals in every area of your life, only about 3%. Of, of people in general write down their goals. And so if you're doing it together, then it becomes a win-win. You get to share your wins, your accomplishments. You get to dream big together. And as people share ideas, like if you share your mm -hmm. health goal, let's say your goal is to drink more water. Yeah. I could say, you know what? I want to start drinking more water too. And then we all inspire each other. You know, you share business ideas. So it becomes communal communal as well as accountability. Yeah, just like community connection. Yes. You make connection and it becomes a tribe mm -hmm. where everybody is supporting each other. Mm -hmm. Well, Wendy, I have a couple questions for you about a couple different subjects. Um, I was just wondering if maybe you would be open to sure. answering them. Absolutely. Um, if someone is, is, is comes to you and they're having trouble with grief after a loss, and they're having tr and it's been a couple years, and they're really having trouble with getting over that hurdle. Not that you should ever get over, you know, the loss of a loved one, but if you find that it's impeding their personal um, growth. What Do you have any, uh, any thoughts on that related to anyone that's been struggling with grief? Yeah, grief is very difficult, you know, and honoring that process to deeply feel it. You know, sometimes we skirt around actually allowing the emotion of grief to come up, to feel it, uh, to cry, to give yourself permission to go off the grid for a few months, six months. Now, if it's two years later and you're still feeling this grief, you know, there are several techniques. Number one, if you keep telling the, the past, the story, the old story over and over and over again, it keeps you in that emotion. Mm. So it's what comes out of your lips. So if you're calling your friends and you keep reliving the story and you feel like a victim so it's it's a willingness to say and i like to think of a time frame to say okay i'm going to grieve for a year like i'm going to feel this until the end of the year and then come january 1 or come you know 12 months later i'm going to get up and i'm going to start moving forward and it's important to give you know to give some time mm. So I always ask if some if someone is seeking if they're seeking the coaching that means that they're ready, and you just lean in a little bit at a time, of removing some of the conversation, some of the dialogue, and inserting in some things like going back to the things that you love doing, so you could bring joy yeah. back into your back life. Back into again. your life. Like you have to remember what those things are. Yeah, we get disconnected yeah. from them. Maybe you like to cook or garden or draw or take your bicycle out again, but you take baby steps. Go back to the things that help you, that bring joy to your life. And also community is really helpful. So we are the average Servicing, of, like volunteering. Volunteering Serving. is so important. Yeah. But also the community that you're with. If you have other people that keep putting fuel in the fire, so we are the average of the five people that we spend the time with. So if you're around people that can lift you up, you know, and support you in yeah. the process is really going to yeah. be helpful. That's, thank you for, for, for putting a little light on that question. I, I have time for one more question. Um, when people are experiencing the emotions of low self-esteem or um, minim, low self-worth, do you believe those emotions are reversible? I know they are. Uh, I would say that I felt that way most of my life. And even though I had success in the outer world, like inside there was something that would show up that would say, you're not good enough. 
And after now coaching, I don't know, more than a thousand people and teaching lots of courses and classes, that voice comes in at all different levels. It doesn't matter if you're a millionaire or a billionaire, you have success in your corporate career. There's that voice. Mm -hmm. There's that voice that sneaks in somewhere that says, hey, I don't know if you're really worthy of X, Y, Z. So again, it's just owning it and starting to say, you know what? I'm ready to move through the discomfort because you're going to be uncomfortable. Like to get a different result in your life, you've got to change something up. And it all starts with your thoughts. Mm. It all starts with your thoughts. And that brings us right back to where we were at the beginning is, is our thoughts. And so, Wendy... You have, um, what, you, what do you have pl- on the horizon as far as events? Uh, if people wanted to participate in any of your classes or if someone wanted to hire you for their personal or business um, goals, um, how, how do we find you and what do you got going on? Like, how, well, do, how do I find you? <laughs> <laughs> I invite everyone that's listening or watching or hearing this message to jump into a community, whether it's a flourish mastermind here in south florida or up in the northeast or online i would love to have you be part How of do we find the Flourish community mastermind? on you can always go to my website which is my name it's wendy with an i and then b-l-u-m blum you can jump on the website you so wendyblum.com wendyblum.com okay all right. And so about, do you have, I know that this year I participated in your Create Your Best Life event um, in January, and then you had a little 2.0, I think, in June. I wasn't able to make that. Do, will you be doing something like that again next year? Yes, yeah, every year. So this will be my eighth year. So it's the second weekend of January. Eight, oh, eighth? Eighth oh, year of I didn't Create know. Your Best Life. Yes. So I have speakers, 12, 15 amazing speakers. And that's here in South Florida. All different parts of life. Yes. Excellent. And Excellent. So that's January, Book of Raton, 2018 and 2019 and 2020. Yes. Well, as you can see just uh, from or here, as you heard the conversation that I had here with Wendy, she has such a, a sweet spirit. She has great wisdom and insight and um, she's a wonderful person to sit down and talk to about different things in your life. So if you had something personal that you wanted to share and work on with her, um, I strongly implore you to reach out to her. And did you say your phone number? I did not. What is your phone number? Uh, it's 954-214-5649. It's best to send a text. Okay. And then I'll respond right. back and to And I just I want, we have another minute. You said something. Her and I had dinner the other night, um, which uh, was really, really nice. You said something to me that was been ringing in my ears. You said, hold energy close to you. When you're talking about something that's happening in your life, you said, hold the energy close. Don't release it so much. I thought that was just really, really great advice that you mentioned the other day because I think sometimes you can kind of, like an atom, like we were talking about, you can release it out. So it, what did you mean by that? Well, you Quickly. know you know when someone's energy is, is so enthusiastic, it almost, you know, it can be overwhelming. And we're all energy. Everything is energy. So when something important is going on in your life, you just want to hold it tight. Maybe you're going to share it to a confidant or somebody close to you. Great. Um, that's inter- I just I wanted to tell you that I really, really like that advice. And so thank you, Wendy, so much for coming here today and being with us. I love being you, here. Thank you, doctor, for being here as well. And I want to um, thank you all for listening. And we'll be back next week with another um, episode of Community Connections. Have a great week, everyone. You've been listening to Community Connections with Norma G. We will be back next Monday from 5 to 6 p.m. with new guests to share about what's hot, what's new, and what's happening in our community. Did you hear something you liked today on our show? Please contact me, Norma G, at 954-802-2015 or email me at ccnormag at gmail.com. I look forward to helping you expand your business, project, or idea and connect with our community. The opinions expressed on the preceding sponsored program were strictly those of its